Hey guys, this is Oliver from Spitfire Audio and this is another Oliver Arnold Chamber Evolutions in action. In this one, we're going to look at how the library can be combined with other sounds such as chamber strings, the woodwinds, etc. And for that, I'm going to use a short cue I've written, around one minute, and I'm going to play the cue. Then we're going to look at the harmonic structure, the sound I've used, and then I'm going to kind of play in some ideas with, the, uh, with our new library, the Oliver Chamber Evolutions. Here's the cue. Cool. So for the intro, I'm using here the charango and the harp in combination. And I'm using also a plate a space piano, which is from the Olof Oliver Arnold's toolkit library. It's basically stealing his reverb uh, on its own. It only sounds like this. So you can hear it adds uh, some depth to whatever sound you're using. And here I'm using charango and harp. Uh, then later on, I'm changing this kind of riff and going over to piano. Kind of opens it up, so from... The piano is from the Oliver Arnold's Composer Toolkit Library, his felt piano, and again I'm using the uh, plate space as an extra reverb. I'm not using any external reverb for you to hear everything, how it comes and how it is in the library. I'm using a Celeste. To add on top of the piano line, an octave higher, give it a little bit of sparkle. And then I'm using this horn euphonium here from our Albion 2 library, the longs, very, very uh, beautiful. beautiful for kind of counter melodies or just enforcing the harmonic structure which I'll tell you in a minute uh, then the tuba from our uh, Spitfire Symphonic Brass Library the horns just to do some swells and I'm using some solo elements here from the Woodwinds Library the flutes actually the trill I'm not using I was going to use it but here I'm using the legato patch And remember, if you use the legato patch to always have the MIDI information overlapping, then I'm using the oboe solo. Then I'm using one of my favorite libraries, the Spitfire Chamber Strings. Here I'm using the Spicato. And I'm using uh, a couple of lines. So if we just listen to one here, so that was my main one. Bring this one in. And it creates this kind of interesting rhythmic uh, pattern that I'm using Golenio when the player hits the strings with the back of the bow. So that's some percussive in interest. Then there's this low pizzicato, really beautiful. And then here, the flautando, which I have to say in every kind of 
appearance of them that they are absolutely amazing. One of the Spitfire favorites. And then I'm using the normal longs as well just to open up the sounds. So now the harmonic structure. Uh, here I've notated it for you so you can check it out. It's just kind of circles around C minor. Into the A major 7. With the 4th up here. E flat major 7. And it changes key going to B. And it's this kind of like surprise, I guess, a little bit. And then all I'm doing here, being really lazy, I'm just taking the same elements um, and just transpose it. Um, uh, what am I doing? Uh, three semitones, so tr minor third, transposing it up. So yeah, that's pretty much my piece. And I've left it a little blank here and there so I can add these really interesting Evo grids. And I've chosen some of my favorite sounds. So here if you click uh, commands, click on the bottom here, so you can choose that the whole keyboard plays uh, the same style of Evo. Uh, and I've kind of chosen it going here, individual evolutions, number three, Sultasta wave short. So that's kind of what I've chosen to play in the beginning. Just to add a bit of interest here in the intro. Let's just lay this, this down. Really cool. So I said it does these kind of short waves and impulses. Really, really nice. And then we've got harmonic uh, trills. One of my favorite ones. Just have a listen. Really, really stunning. Cool, let's lay something down with the harmonic trills here. section I'd like to use uh, Evo number eight which is uh, Sultasto Trem so bring a little bit of tension in there it's just absolutely fantastic how really gentle and subtle it adds a lot of interest and then here I want to use some sort of uh, randomizer, meaning I can kind of click here on the dice and then uh, randomize with episodic. So there's a slightly more uh, busy evolution. I left it here, it's quite empty, so we have this busy rhythmical pattern here. And here we've got quite a bit of space to add this interest. Awesome. And then here we've got the wow effect, uh, number 18, Evo number 18, and it's in the section of the dissonant, where we make it, we bring in slightly more tension. And then what we've got in the library as well are these waves. So they're more um, kind of they're pre-recorded swells. So crescendo and tigrescendo. And that's kind of the trademark sound of Oliver. And they're just absolutely fantastic. And here I want to use the vibrato, the shortest. So the kind of faster swells. So I don't actually need to touch the dynamic or the expression. Because it's beautifully recorded.
Let me just try and add a little bit of those swells here. Okay, cool. Maybe the last one is not necessary. And here, maybe it's a little too harmonic. Cool. I'll mix those in nicely and then I'll put up the track for you to check out. And I hope you can enjoy or you get to enjoy the Oliver Arnold's Chamber Evolutions. Thank you very much for listening and watching. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comments box. Or if you have any suggestions, please let us know and we'll be happy to be in touch. Thank you very much. Bye bye.